welcome back to Mason Talk. So the NFL season is finally over for the Cleveland Browns at least. But let's be honest, it's been over since like October. Actually, let's be honest, it's been over since like July. Yesterday, the Browns finished their worst season since 1999. I mean, at least the 99 Browns had an excuse like, oh, we're an expansion team. You guys have been in the league for like 16 years. The Browns season ended in a loss to the Pittsburgh Steelers, which did send them to the NFL playoffs, but it also sent us to number two in the NFL draft, which we will probably end up blowing on some random offensive lineman. After the game, Ray Farmer was released of his duties as crappy general manager of the Cleveland Browns and then Mike Patton was also fired later in the day and then the move that made every Browns fan angry except for Jimmy Haslam himself promoting team lawyer or whatever Sasha Brown hey I just finished editing my video and I realized that I called Sashi Brown Sasha the entire video just wanted to let you know <laughs> to a higher, he's gonna do the drafting. Everything that like anybody does on the team will be reported to Sasha. Does it remind you of anybody like somebody we had last year named Ray Farmer? Kinda does for me. I do not like the move. I think we need to hire a coach and tell the coach like, do what you think makes us win. And I don't think any coach is gonna wanna hear, do what you think makes us win and is also accepted by Sasha Brown. Nobody wants to hear that. Especially not Joe Thomas, who now is probably gonna leave Cleveland. And I mean, I don't blame him. You wanna go win a ring somewhere. Like, who wouldn't wanna do that? If I were the Browns, I would try to trade Joe Thomas to get somewhere into like the middle of the first round of this draft. I don't know who you trade him to, but like, see who would want him. Cause I mean, teams are gonna want him. He's a future Hall of Fame left tackle. Of course somebody's gonna want him. In the Steelers game yesterday, tight end Gary Barnes Carnage hit a thousand yards. First Browns receiver to do so since Josh Gordon. But honestly, I think Josh Gordon's was more impressive because, I mean, he was high the entire time he was doing it. So now it's time to focus on the draft since that's basically what we do. Uh, we have the second overall pick. Titans have the first because they had to lose to the Colts with starter Josh Freeman. If he's available at number two, which he actually might not be, I want you to take Joey Bosa. Now I know most people are going to want a quarterback, but I don't want a quarterback because we have Josh McCown, who at least for one year can help us a little bit. Because I, I don't think Jared Goff or Paxton Lynch are franchise quarterbacks. Now I might be wrong. I don't know. But like the only time I really feel comfortable taking a quarterback is if it's a quarterback with like Andrew Luck guaranteed talent like that. Yeah, I would take Joey Bosa at number two. And then you might have a pick in the, it depends on what you do with Joe Thomas. You might have another pick in the first round. I know you guys love first round picks. Another thing I think we need to do is re-sign Travis Benjamin, your deep threat. He was good. Travis is good. Sasha. Watch some Travis Benjamin highlights. He's good. We need to bring him back. You know what we need to do first before all of these moves is we need to get rid of Johnny. Literally, he skipped the game because he was in Las Vegas partying at a casino. He was also supposed to get like his concussion looked at or whatever. That sounded weird. But of course, no, he had to be in Las Vegas partying. Oh, Johnny, good, oh, 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 Johnny, oh. Even the Johnny fanboys are like, that was bad. <laughs> that didn't make us look good at all. The Browns did something that they did not do after firing Rob Chudzinski, and that is actually looking for a coach. It's this new thing that people do, which is called, you know, Looking for a coach. Browns are interviewing three people this week. Adam Gase, Doug Marone, and some other guy that I don't know. Actually, I know Doug Marone and Adam Gase, but I don't know the other guy. I'd be fine with Doug Marone or Adam Gase, but not the other guy. One thing I don't like is Sasha Brown. <laughs> Everybody's going to be reporting to Sasha Brown, who will then be reporting to Jimmy Haslam. Basically meaning Jimmy Haslam is the overlord of the Browns. Jimmy, you need to move to Tennessee and like run pilot flying J. Just get, just let somebody else handle the Browns, like Bernie or somebody. Or D Haslam, you know, just somebody better than you. <laughs> Not saying you're a bad owner, I'm just saying you make dumb decisions. <laughs> yeah, so the Browns finished 13 and three, their worst season since 99. It's finally off season time, you guys can finally focus on LeBron James. I mean, the Cavs are pretty good guys. You should watch them. <laughs> yeah, so thanks for watching Mason Talks. Make sure you subscribe for more NFL, NBA, weird story videos, all the good stuff. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Okay.